Hello, Ukrainian lawmakers have been meeting in Kiev to try and fill a major power vacuum. It's believed President Viktor Yanukovych has left Kiev. The parliament has been meeting and made several important political appointments, including a new parliamentary speaker, interior minister in charge of the nation's police, as well as a prosecutor general. And they've also voted to speed up the release of jailed opposition leader Yulia Tymoshenko. While protesters have continued their calls for Yanukovych to resign immediately and for elections to take place in May. The presidential residence outside Kiev is empty and unguarded and hundreds of people are gathering there. In a moment, we'll be crossing live to Andrew Simmons, who's just outside that presidential estate. But first, let's across to Barnaby Phillips, who's uh, overlooking Independence Square for us in central Kiev, Barnaby, to just uh, bring us up to speed with the latest developments, because it's a fast moving story. It is a fast-moving story. The atmosphere in the square behind me, and incidentally, if you're hearing explosions, don't be alarmed. They are fireworks going off. I was about to say that the atmosphere in the square behind me has been a strange mix of solemnity, mourning the dead. Funeral processions have been carried, uh, have been carrying on throughout the morning in the square. Coffins carried aloft above the crowd, many faces streaming with tears. And then in the last 20 minutes, a great barrage, really, of firework explosions which have echoed through the centre of the city and which seem to chime with a general feeling uh, that authority has slipped away from President Yanukovych. Uh, he is believed to be most likely in the eastern city of Kharkiv. And as you were saying in your introduction, what authority there is uh, in Kiev is now very much with the country's parliament, which all morning uh, has passed a series of resolutions and votes. And the only way I can characterize them in their totality is that they cement what is effectively an ongoing revolution. Barnaby and the lawmakers, speaking of them and what they've passed, I mean, they've now voted to speed up the release of the opposition leader, Yulia Tymoshenko. What do we know on that and her whereabouts? Well, she's in a hospital prison in the eastern city of Kharkiv. Incidentally, coincidentally, probably, uh, the same city where it is reported that President Yanukovych uh, has left, visited, fled, uh, to choose your adjective. I'm afraid it's very difficult to say at this point in time. Yes, the parliament did vote for her release. We don't have any confirmation that that release has happened. Uh, it would not be surprising if it were to happen happen soon, given the way all the other events have unfolded this morning. And we do know that her daughter has travelled east, her daughter who has been, of course, a vociferous campaigner for her mother uh, since her detention in 2011. OK, Barnaby, thank you for giving us that update uh, from Independence Square in the capital, Kiev. What we'll do now is uh, we'll cross over to Andrew Simmons, who's, uh, I believe, just outside the presidential palace. And Barnaby, Andrew, telling us that the president is reportedly on the way to Kharkiv, so he's left the capital. What's the scene at the presidential palace? What we're witnessing here, Doreen, is extraordinary. Thousands of people have been streaming inside the presidential compound. That's where I am right now. This behind me, as the people keep cheering, uh, is in fact a guest house, a very lavish one at that, worth millions of dollars, made out of wood, and all around it there are very, very expensive uh, ornaments, furnishings. The people right now are moving forward, not in, in any way in uh, a violent way. They're not looting, they're not doing anything like that. It's more like some sort of Sunday gathering, uh, walking around um, a stately home. Uh, this is a very large site, 110 acres, and if I can show you now, people are coming through like tourists, all extremely happy, convinced that the president is standing down, even though there's no official word on that. And here you have an ornamental lake uh, behind that. Uh, the green you see, the green there, is the compound perimeter with a razor wire above it. Now, outside, there's a massive traffic jam as thousands of people come from the capital out here to view this place that had forbidden access for so many years. There's not a policeman in sight. 
There's no security that relates to the state. The people from the Independence Square, the protesters have come here in their droves and they've taken control. They will not allow anyone inside the buildings. They're warning that there could be booby traps. Uh, how much credence there is to that, we're not sure. But they're making sure that no one tampers with anything. It's just simply uh, a very extraordinary celebration with people walking around viewing this lavish uh, estate where the man who came from a Soviet era background, a very poor youth in which he had two jail terms, they say, most of the people here, he lived like a Tsar, he lived like a king, he spent so much public money. Andrew, I'm just wondering whether people at all are worried about uh, security or the lack of it. Are they questioning who's in charge of the country right now? <laughs> well, there's absolutely uh, no doubt on the people's minds here that they feel that uh, they have won over. Uh, they feel that the president, it's only a question of time before they hear that the president is no longer uh, head of state. However, we know there's nothing to confirm that right now. Um, people are genuinely confident that they have possession of this now. Uh, when we were outside waiting to come in, small groups came in initially, and then the protester groups who were still wearing their, their tin helmets, still were having their baseball bats, having come from the square in Kiev, uh, started making announcements that people would, more people would be allowed in. And then they huddled together and decided They'd opened the gates, and the gates opened, and thousands and thousands of people started streaming in. But it's so orderly. Apart from what you saw earlier on, which was this grouping bar in front of this uh, guest house, uh, it's been incredibly orderly. As I say, people taking photographs, uh, uh, posing, uh, talking to each other, milling together. A very happy atmosphere, almost a, a family day out atmosphere. Quite surreal, really, Darin. Okay, Andrew, for the time being, we'll leave it there. But thank you very much, Andrew Simmons, reporting from just outside the presidential compound. And there's Barnaby Phillips bringing us an update from Kiev in Ukraine. Well, President